a rigid boot, like a leather boot that has a a, a, a rubber sole. The sole will be separate, but what you do, it's like this. Take this. And you sculpt on this, like the interior of the boot. So that means, you know, this needs to disappear. I was I was basically doing the exact same thing Natalia does or did or wrote or whatever on her article, uh, but apparently for some reason, for her, it's a breeze. To me, it's a fucking pain in the ass because it 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 just breaks the it just breaks the whole soul. But I, I've even subdivided a couple of times so that the UVs were you know higher in density or you know, less particle distance for marvelous, but nope. So you sculpt the interior of the, the shoe. Mm -hmm. And you can take into the consideration the padding and whatnot that's inside there. Mm -hmm. have to make sure that it has a little bit of thickness. Depends on what kind of shoe you're making. Right? Mm -hmm. The regular leather boots, basically. Probably gonna want to take the tip and move it a little bit higher. Right? No. It's probably still one of the parts that I find it easier to sculpt by hand than to do in Marvelous. It depends. It depends on what kind of boots. Some, yeah, sure. If if you don't have any kind of folding, there's no reason to go into yeah. Marvelous. Is it he? Is it he like barefoot? Oh no, wait, that's in the second Die Hard movie that he's barefoot. Yeah. Right. So you have this. Mm -hmm. And explore this as your avatar. See this. You have this. You're probably gonna be. This is in the correct position on your. Uh... Are you still here? This is in the cor correct position. You're probably gonna. Hey, where is my sin? You need to disable the the ground. It's in the correct position. So you don't want any kind of uh, forcing it up, right? Mm -hmm. So you go here, and you do this, you find on the avatar, you're gonna do this. You're gonna trace it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're gonna trace like the, the interior of the soul. Doesn't need to be perfect, it doesn't need to be anything. You just need to have a mesh. That's uh, that's the... Uh, What was the fucking button to... Oh, it's, uh, it's hidden. The extract button? No, I, no, you have multiple buttons on the... Yeah. So you have this, right? You can click... Ah, uh, okay. So once you have this, you can go here. And you can, like, add some curve to it or whatever if you want, right? If you want to add some more. Uh, I would probably go, you know... Refine it, something like this. This, remove this. Remove all the curve points there. Put this put in the back here. I'm gonna delete this.
something like this this is your basically the leather piece that's underneath that's going to pull up the sole and you can even go in and make it a little bit smaller scale it down a little bit and what it smaller. goes right so i thought you were going to make, make it bigger in fact no why would i make it bigger you want the the leather here you want it to you know to go and go underneath because you're going to put then the sole that you're going to polymodel right so you want oh, the leather okay. to go underneath underneath yes to make that nice exactly. yes right. so then you can either cut from this or you can literally you know create the geometry so you can go again with tracing and you can make uh, you know like separate the back part from the side part from the from the tongue of the what's it called tongue no tongue lip whatever okay. yeah you can go like this and you can you know separate your pieces sometimes it's not gonna work but, you know marvelous is special it's like but me you can literally this go and uh and separate this and make a fucking boot. Oh, yeah, this this uh this is definitely easier. It doesn't need to be perfect because you're gonna correct them afterward. To to be honest, uh Juni, uh I I would I would uh, extract uh a base from here and then just work those by hand yeah yeah you're yeah. gonna work them by hand because it's not gonna be yeah. perfect it's gonna be yeah. all fucked it, it's just i hate extracts from zbrush a lot of people still work with extracts from zbrush i'm gonna make some trousers extracts oh i'm gonna make some boots extracts and i hate working with extracts from zbrush that's why I, but yeah. you're you're gonna clean this up right yeah of course yeah but uh you got the the you basics the, the basics exactly you can even get the back part as well if you want to turn that into something like metal or some shit like that. Yeah, that's nice. Mm. Delete this. Delete this. Yeah, I just, I I didn't think of the of the uh, I didn't think of the tracing because I I. I I used to have some problems with it. it. Used to lag a lot on my my system for some reason, and I couldn't do anything with it. But right, and the the thing is that this this is this one you're gonna froze. Right, this will never move from that point. And you're gonna have this. Let me let me just flip this. No. Right. So it's gonna be like the correct orientation so I can easily like I can go from here to here. I think it's gonna be like this. And then I'm gonna have from this to here and be from here to here. And this one is gonna be from here to here, right? And we're gonna have this with this, this with this. Uh, this is gonna be this and this. It's gonna be this, this is gonna be this. Oh, we have a fucking leather boot. Yeah. 10 minutes, another five minutes. And then if, once you're done with it, you go and, and make the soul in whatever software you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this was leather, right? Very cool correctly. No. Which which the, uh, the blue one was which, which preset are you using now? I'm gonna put uh, like the leather lambskin. Mm, yeah, because they took away the other ones. Yeah, right. the cow. So. Yeah, leather cow hide. 
You can make it yourself. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but those are nice wrinkles already. The ones you just had there. Yeah. And you can enforce it like double up the mesh and whatnot, right, if needed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. the tracing option is, uh, is definitely way more powerful than, uh, than I, I, I had on mine or was used to on mine or whatever. Hmm. This is your, your freaking base. Yeah. Just reminds me that I could do the same for gloves too. Yeah. But I did the same, right? For gloves and and freaking uh, boots. Hmm. For my character. Well, I already watch 80 hours of you a week. You know, forgive me if I don't recall where you did that. You are forgiven. Huh? You are forgiven. Oh, thank you very much, DJ. <laughs> if it actually <laughs> means something coming from me. <laughs> ah, it does, it always does. <laughs> A little bit more. Let's do it. Um, when you finish the stream, clip the video, put it on the on the mentorship. I'm pretty sure this will help a lot of people. Because if I clip it, I only have one minute, right? It has to be you. Just like you did that maps uh, a few years ago or last year or whatever. The SSS and the reference and whatnot. Come on. Oh shit, because I should have removed the uh, remove linked editing first. Yes, in the shoes and marvels. And... Yeah, I did it on uh, on Brianna. Yes, you did. Yes. You can do that anywhere in the ZBrush, Max, Maya. You what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's nice. That's really nice. Yeah, what? Why you didn't make a fucking internal line? Ah, it's because I merged.
are gonna do the soul that poly modeling you can do it wherever you don't do the soul in marvelous and you have boots simple Welcome. fucking leather boots yep thank you the tracing tool did enlighten me it doesn't need to be precise and you don't really need but it's easier to use the trace tool you can you can do it manually right like even without the mm -hmm. trace tool like you can create the, the sole shape manually and you just yeah, pin it then, there yeah. and then then you freeze it but no, 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 these but actually... the easiest way is to do like that right and you get this nice roundness here that goes into the sole right so then the rest is just sculpting and zbrush and you know modifying if you want you know, around our teeth or whatever Wife. The soul can be done in any 3D software, tell them. Wherever you want. I usually polymodel it in 3ds Max. Your boots are a bit more complicated. You can go very complicated with the boots. Like what? Brianna boots were simple? Let's see. Open project. Let's see where is Brianna? Not, not completely sure Ludwig means about negative inflate. Uh, that, that's uh, fabric properties? Yeah, you can go with negative to, to make sure that it sticks to the fucking thing. Pressure. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, pressure. Okay. Same, same as uh, with straps and whatnot. Where the fuck is Brianna? I moved it to... it here right where the fuck are the boots I did not save the boots I just made them and export them and then gave didn't give a fuck oh no okay This was not a simple boot, but made me exactly in the same with the same process. So you can go places with it. Yeah, made a nice cut there and like that. Yeah, it's really nice. How the fuck did you get those? Uh... Those, those nice, those, those nice, uh, flat, flat, uh, overlapping no, stuff. Oh, what do you mean? Basically, you mean... here, here is just thicker fabric. Mm -hmm. I just had a different thickness. And this one, mm -hmm. it's uh, overlapping. It has two, right? No, 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 no. I, I mean, you have some really nice, uh, straight edged folding almost as if you used clay polish on that here thing. it's because of the fabric because it's custom mm. it's all about the bending the buckling yeah because i wanted you know strong folding uh-huh all it seems no, I don't have any, any, I mean, these are folded seams that I used here to, to define like the, the shape, because this was sculpted a lot here. Obviously it didn't have the right shape. I, I made them way, way thinner in the end, right? Like the, I extended the tip more and made it way narrower, but I wanted to have, you know, kind of like the squarish look, so it made it easier to have like, you know, an angle on this folds but no these folds are only because i also made two different boots I don't have any any kind of seams internal lines or whatever to drive folding 
Oh, you're talking about this? Yeah, of course you put folding angle on, on your stuff. Uh, it's full strain 50 to 150 angle. I uh, to get the, the nice corners. And you can force it. You can do a lot of cool stuff. Like you can go with, with these ones, right? And you can go offset as internal line. One millimeter and put like three of this. And it's going to force this. I don't know if it's going to be able to simulate at this level. It's going to force this to be much straighter after the, the, the folding, right? It's going to be much sharper. You see? Like the whole folding there, it's forced to be much narrower. Because you're forcing it to go into 180 degrees. Slowly compared to this, right? You can do a lot of cool stuff with Marvelous. And there are people who hate doing this, right? But if, if I have to do fucking, you know, uh, globes or, or leather boots or stuff like that, I'll definitely go to Marvelous at any fucking point in the day. Like a smart choice to me. But don't let them senior character artists hear you say that. For me, it's way easier. If you're gonna ask Daniel, though, he'll say no. Don't do fucking shoes in in MD. But I, he's mostly referring to you know fucking uh, sneakers and you know shoes that are very uniform. Let's see here the settings for my material. If you want sharper, sharper folding, usually you don't want the material that stretches that much right so your your stretch is going to be quite high above 50 <clears throat> all sliders are important smoky because if i go here right look at this if i go here and i put like 12 to stretch and shear all the folds are lost they they kind of get stretchy you know if you go to to high values everything is going to try to retain its shape and it's going to fold way more you know then you have the bending which is at high value that means it's not going to bend easily right so it's not it's not going to have too many folds if you go to a lower value right you're going to get a lot of folding from all fucking directions you see it's going to look more like uh, cotton or whatever you go with a higher value you're going to have just a few folds then you have the buckling ratio like the higher the buckling ratio is the more it's going to overlap the folding so if you go this with 90 i don't know if it's going to be visible because probably i'm going to need you know a low bending value for you to actually see but this is going to give the option of the fold to overlap on itself right so it, it, it's it's important but not that important when when you have uh, like this needs to be ki kind of low if you want folds that don't overlap right that they kind of stay outside so you want a, a high value for bending right and then buckling stiffness it's what defines how stiff the the folding is right in case of leather you want some very low values for stiffness right like if you go to higher values this is gonna become uh, uh, more bending like the folds are gonna get rounder see the difference this will this lower value it's it's making the folds sharper but the values like these settings you marvelous hell bro f1 
and it explains exactly what this does like if you go here and physical properties it literally shows you what buckling ratio does no it shows what fucking uh, buckling stiffness does uh, you guys don't read the fucking help that's the problem So you can easily get a, a good result in a matter of minutes. And then you make one, you export it, then you drag it a little bit, and you export it again, and you just mirror it in, in ZBrush, and you have two fucking different boots that look great. Hey, Bronzox. And the rest is sculpting in ZBrush. No, refining. In, in, in my case, right, I made stylized boots, like the final looks. There it is. Oh, projects, Rihanna, ZBrush. What character? I, no, I was just showing how to make boots in, in Marvelous, as Raul was asking. Like Brianna boots, let's see where the fucking boots are. You see? There was a lot of sculpting on, on this, right? I modified this to be more straight. Right? I made the soles obviously in 3ds Max, whatever. And then I sculpted over the folds to be more sharp. And I got this nice stylized look in in a matter of minutes. 